Today, I want to share with you the method that transformed my life from zero to 100%. It's a journey of self-discovery, self-love, and embracing the power within. Let's delve into the essence of this transformation, shall we? Today marks a new beginning, a fresh chapter where you are in charge. Yes, you. Right now, in this very moment, you hold the brush to paint the canvas of your future. When you were just a little baby, you loved yourself unconditionally. You giggled, you played, and you expressed every emotion without hesitation. Babies don't judge themselves. They embrace their bodies and live in the moment. As we get older, we start to pick up things from the people around us, like our family, friends, and even teachers. It's kind of like how a sponge soaks up water. We soak up their beliefs and behaviors without even realizing it. So let's say you grew up in a family where criticism was everywhere. Maybe your parents were always pointing out your flaws or telling you what you did wrong. Well, guess what? You might find yourself doing the same thing as you get older. You might become overly critical of yourself and others, always finding fault in everything. Or maybe in your family, people didn't really talk about their feelings. They just kept everything bottled up inside. Well, that can have an effect on you too. You might start to think that showing your emotions is a bad thing, so you bury them deep down inside. You might be scared of confrontation, afraid to speak up for yourself. But here's the thing, just because you picked up these beliefs and behaviors doesn't mean you have to keep them. You have the power to change, to break free from the patterns of the past. It's like realizing that you've been wearing someone else's shoes all this time. Sure, they might have fit at one point, but now they're just uncomfortable and don't feel right. So what do you do? You take them off and find a pair that's perfect for you. Now let's talk about something really special, affirmations. They're like little magic words that can make a big difference in your life. So picture this, you're standing in front of a mirror looking at yourself. Maybe you're feeling a bit down or unsure of yourself. That's okay, we all have those moments. But here's where affirmations come in. Affirmations are like positive messages that you say to yourself. They're like little seeds that you plant in your mind. And just like seeds in a garden, they need the right conditions to grow. When you look in the mirror and repeat affirmations, it's like watering those seeds. You're giving them the nourishment they need to thrive. And over time, something amazing happens. Those affirmations start to take root in your mind. Imagine each affirmation as a beautiful flower blooming in your mind. Maybe one affirmation is, I am confident, and another is, I am worthy of love. As you repeat these affirmations, they become beliefs that shape how you see yourself and the world around you. Suddenly, you start to feel more confident. You start to believe that you are worthy of love and respect. It's like a transformation happening right before your eyes. But here's the really cool part. As your beliefs change, so does your reality. It's like the universe starts to respond to your new way of thinking. You might notice that opportunities start to come your way or that people treat you differently. When you're on a journey of self-love, it's important to watch out for things that might get in your way. These things are like roadblocks or hurdles. They can stop you from reaching your destination. One of the biggest obstacles you might come across are negative messages. These are like little voices in your head that tell you you're not good enough or you don't deserve love. They can be really sneaky, popping up when you least expect it. But here's the thing. These negative messages aren't just random thoughts. They're like clues that can help you uncover the root of your limiting beliefs, the beliefs that hold you back from truly loving yourself. So when you affirm self-love, pay attention to the negative messages that come up. Don't just brush them off or ignore them. Instead, see them as valuable clues that can lead you to the deeper issues hiding beneath the surface. It's kind of like when you're trying to find buried treasure. You don't just stumble upon it by accident. You have to follow a map. 
And in this case, the negative messages are your treasure map, guiding you towards the real treasure, self-love. Now, I won't lie to you. Following this treasure map isn't always easy. It can be scary to confront the beliefs and thoughts that hold you back. But trust me, it's worth it. Perhaps you've been shackled by criticism, fear, guilt, or resentment. These chains were forged in the past, but you hold the key to unlock them. You have the power to rewrite your story, to break free from the patterns of the past. Embrace your inner child with love and compassion. Heal the wounds of the past and nurture the innocence within you. You are not defined by your experiences. You are defined by your resilience, your strength, and your capacity to love. For some of you, life has been really tough. You might have faced something really terrible, like incest. It's like a scary shadow that stays in your mind, making everything feel dark and heavy. But here's the thing. Healing can start when you acknowledge what happened. It's like shining a light on that shadow so it can't scare you anymore, and you don't have to face it alone. Therapy is like a safe harbor in a stormy sea. It's a place where you can talk about what happened without fear of judgment. You can let out all the pain that's been bottled up inside and start to feel lighter. In therapy, you can also start to take back your power. It's like finding the strength inside you to stand up tall again, even after everything that's happened. You realize that you're stronger than you thought. And that's a really empowering feeling. Let go of guilt, dear ones. Guilt only serves to weigh you down, trapping you in a prison of self-condemnation. You are not responsible for the actions of others, nor are you defined by your past mistakes. Forgive yourself, forgive others, and set yourself free. Release the need for punishment and embrace the gift of forgiveness. You deserve to live a life filled with joy, love, and abundance. Stand tall because you are amazing. You deserve love and acceptance just the way you are. Don't listen to the voices that doubt you or criticize you. Instead, celebrate how special and different you are. When you truly love yourself, something magical happens. You start to spread love everywhere you go. It's like a warm glow that touches everyone around you. And guess what? When you're full of love, good things start happening to you. You become like a magnet, pulling in all the good stuff. Abundance, which means having plenty of everything you need, comes into your life. Prosperity, which is about feeling rich in many different ways, finds its way to you. And happiness? Well, that's something you'll have in abundance, too. It's like the universe rewards you for loving yourself. And why shouldn't it? You're a wonderful person who deserves all the good things life has to offer. So I invite you to embark on this journey of self-discovery. Embrace the method that changed my winnings from zero to 100. That were unworthy of love, success, and abundance. But I'm here to tell you that it's time to break free from those limiting beliefs. It's time to look into the mirror of your soul and see the magnificent being that you truly are. You are worthy. You are deserving. And you have the power within you to create the life of your dreams. One powerful tool that I found to be incredibly effective is the use of affirmations and visualizations. Affirmations are positive statements that you repeat to yourself daily reaffirming the truth of who you are and what you desire. For example, you can say, I am worthy of love and abundance. I am deserving of all the good that life has to offer. I am capable of achieving my dreams. When you repeat these affirmations with sincerity and belief, you're sending a powerful message to your subconscious mind, which then begins to manifest those desires into your reality. Now let's talk about money. Money is a form of energy, and like all forms of energy, it responds to our thoughts and beliefs. If you believe that money is scarce and hard to come by, 
then that's the reality you'll create for yourself. But if you shift your mindset and affirm that it's okay to have money and riches and that you will use your money wisely, you open yourself up to a world of abundance and prosperity. You see, the power to create the life you desire lies within you. It's not about chasing after external validation or material possessions. It's about tapping into the infinite potential that resides within your own being. Meditation is like giving your mind a peaceful vacation. It's a way to take a break from all the noise and busyness of life. When you meditate, you sit quietly and focus on your breath or a calming image. It's a simple practice, but oh so powerful. Now here's the amazing part. When you meditate, you tap into a well of inner power that's been inside you all along. It's like finding a hidden treasure chest full of goodness and light. Picture this, you're sitting in a quiet room, feeling calm and relaxed. As you close your eyes and take a deep breath, you start to feel a sense of peace wash over you. That's your inner power awakening. As you continue to meditate, you begin to connect with your inner self, the part of you that's wise and loving beyond me sure. It's like meeting an old friend who knows you better than anyone else. And here's where the magic happens. When you align yourself with your inner self, you also align yourself with the flow of the universe. It's like plugging into a cosmic power source that's always there, waiting for you to tap into it. When you're in tune with the flow of the universe, abundance and blessings start to flow into your life effortlessly. It's like the universe says, Hey, this person is open and ready to receive all the good things I have to offer. Maybe you'll receive unexpected opportunities, meet amazing people, or find solutions to problems that once seemed insurmountable. Whatever it is, you'll know it's because you took the time to connect with your inner power through meditation. But meditation isn't just about receiving blessings, it's also about giving back. When you're in a state of inner peace and alignment, you radiate positive energy out into the world. You become a beacon of light, inspiring others to tap into their own inner power. Have you ever taken a moment to appreciate the wonders of nature? It's like stepping into a magical world filled with beauty and abundance. Look around you. See the vibrant colors of the flowers, hear the gentle rustle of the trees, and listen to the sweet melodies of the birds. Nature is a masterpiece, a reminder of the abundance that surrounds us. Take a closer look at the flowers. Each one is unique, with its own shape, color, and fragrance. Yet they all bloom together, side by side, in perfect harmony. It's a beautiful example of how diversity can coexist in unity. Now, let's talk about the trees. Tall and majestic, they stand as silent guardians of the earth. They provide shade on hot days, shelter for birds and animals, and oxygen for us to breathe. Trees teach us the importance of strength, resilience, and rootedness. And what about the birds? With their graceful wings and melodious songs, they remind us of the joy and freedom that comes from living in alignment with our true selves. Birds soar through the sky with ease, trusting in the natural flow of life to guide them. Just like the flowers, the trees, and the birds, we too can align ourselves with the natural abundance of the universe. It starts by letting go of fear, doubt, and lack. Instead of focusing on what we don't have, we shift our attention to the infinite possibilities that exist within us. Think about it. What if you believed that anything was possible? What if you trusted in the universe to provide for your every need? When you let go of limiting beliefs and embrace a mindset of abundance, you open yourself up to a world of endless possibilities. Love is another powerful force that can transform our lives in miraculous ways. When we open our hearts to love, to ourselves and to others, we attract more love into our lives. Love is the highest vibration there is, 
And when we vibrate at the frequency of love, we become magnets for all the good that the universe has to offer. Healing is another aspect of our journey towards wholeness. When we release old wounds and traumas, we make space for healing and transformation to occur. Self-love is like giving yourself a big hug from the inside. It means treating yourself with kindness and respect, just like you would treat your best friend. Imagine looking in the mirror and saying, hey, I love you flaws and all. That's what self-love is all about. When you truly love yourself, you accept yourself for who you are with all your imperfections. Maybe you're not perfect, but guess what? Nobody is, and that's totally okay. Embracing your quirks and unique qualities is what makes you special. Now here's the cool part. When you love yourself unconditionally, amazing things start to happen. It's like magic. Suddenly you start attracting good stuff into your life, things you never even dreamed possible. Imagine waking up each day feeling happy and confident, ready to take on the world. That's the power of self-love. It's like having a superpower that makes you unstoppable. But wait, there's more? When you love yourself, you become a magnet for miracles and blessings. It's like the universe says, hey, this person really loves themselves. Let's send them some extra love and goodness. Maybe you'll land your dream job, meet your soulmate, or achieve a goal you've been working towards. Whatever it is, you'll know it's because you chose to love yourself first. Self-love isn't always easy though. It takes practice and patience. Some days, you might not feel so great about yourself, and that's okay. Remember, it's a journey, not a destination. So, how can you start loving yourself more? Start by treating yourself and embrace the power of our thoughts and beliefs. Think of your mind as a garden. What you plant there will grow. If you plant seeds of positivity and love, you'll harvest joy and abundance. But if you sow seeds of doubt and fear, you'll reap a harvest of negativity and struggle. Meditation is like tending to the garden of your mind. It's a time to quiet the chatter, connect with your inner wisdom, and plant seeds of intention. Start with just five minutes a day, gradually expanding to embrace the tranquility within. Affirmations are the seeds we plant consciously. Write them down, speak them aloud, sing them with joy. Let your mind marinate in these positive statements until they take root and blossom into empowering beliefs. Exercise isn't just about making your body strong. It's also about making your mind and spirit strong too. When you move your body, it's like giving your whole being a big, happy shakeup. It helps to get rid of any yucky, stuck feelings and brings in fresh, lively energy. Think about it like this. Have you ever noticed how good you feel after running around outside or dancing to your favorite song? That's because movement is like a magic potion that wakes up your body, mind, and spirit. It's like pressing the reset button on your whole self, whether you're taking a brisk walk in the park, playing tag with your friends, or even just doing a little dance in your living room. Find what makes your soul happy and do it every day. It could be anything that gets your body moving and your heart singing. Maybe you love the feeling of the wind in your hair as you ride your bike, or the sound of your feet pounding the pavement as you go for a run. Or maybe you prefer the rhythm of a good old-fashioned dance party where you can let loose and shake your groove thing. Taking care of your body is super important, just like taking care of a precious temple. And one of the best ways to do that is by feeding it with foods that make it happy and healthy. Imagine your body as a temple, a sacred place that deserves only the best. When you eat foods that are good for you, it's like giving your temple a big hug from the inside out. So choose foods that are packed with goodness, like fresh fruits, crunchy veggies, whole grains, and lean proteins. But here's the secret sauce. Before you dig in, take a moment to bless your meal and give thanks for all the yummy food in front of you. 
it's like saying a little prayer to show gratitude for the abundance in your life. And trust me, your body will thank you for it. You've probably heard the saying, you are what you eat, right? Well, it's true. The food you put into your body has a big impact on how you feel, both physically and mentally. So, it's important to choose foods that nourish not just your body, but also your mind and spirit. Think about it like this. When you eat foods that are good for you, you feel energized, focused, and ready to take on the world. But when you eat foods that are full of junk and unhealthy stuff, you might feel tired, sluggish, and just not yourself. Feed your mind with knowledge and inspiration. Read books that uplift you, listen to podcasts that expand your horizons, and surround yourself with positivity. The more you learn, the more you grow. Gratitude is like a magic key that opens up a treasure chest full of happiness and joy. It's the secret to living a truly wonderful life. You see, no matter how tough things may seem, there's always something to be thankful for. Every day, take a little time to think about all the good things in your life, even the small stuff. Maybe you're grateful for the sunshine on your face or the delicious meal you had for lunch. Maybe it's the laughter of your friends or the cozy warmth of your bed at night. Whatever it is, take a moment to appreciate it. Now, here's where the magic happens. When you practice gratitude, you're actually inviting more good things into your life. It's like you're telling the universe, hey, I appreciate all the good stuff and I'm ready for more. And guess what? The universe listens. When you're grateful for what you have, you start to notice even more blessings all around you. It's like putting on a pair of special glasses that help you see the beauty in every little thing. Suddenly, life feels brighter, lighter, and more magical. But that's not all. Gratitude also has the power to work miracles in your life. When you're truly grateful for what you have, you're sending out positive vibes into the universe. And in return, the universe sends you even more amazing things to be thankful for. You might not believe it, but I've seen it happen time and time again. People who practice gratitude regularly find that their lives are filled with abundance and blessings beyond their wildest dreams. It's like they're living in a constant state of joy and wonder. Journaling is a powerful tool for self-discovery and healing. Pour your thoughts onto the page without judgment or censorship. Allow yourself to release any pent-up emotions and gain clarity on your path forward. Visualization is like creating a movie in your mind. It's a special skill that helps you make your dreams come true. All you have to do is close your eyes and imagine yourself living the life you've always wanted. Picture it in your mind like you're watching a really cool movie starring you. But here's the secret sauce. You've got to feel the emotions as if it's happening right now. Imagine how happy, excited, and grateful you'd be if your dreams came true. Feel those feelings deep down inside, like you're already living your dream life. Believe it or not, the universe is like a giant genie that grants wishes. And guess what? It listens to the pictures we paint in our minds. So when you visualize your dreams with all your heart, the universe takes notice. It starts working behind the scenes to make your dreams a reality. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Louise, my dreams are so big, can they really come true? And my answer to that is yes, absolutely yes. The universe loves it when we dream big. It wants us to live our best lives and be the happiest versions of ourselves. Love is like a magic potion that makes everything better. It's the strongest thing in the whole wide universe. When you give love to yourself, to others, and to the world, amazing things happen. Love isn't just a feeling, it's a superpower. It can make all the bad stuff go away and turn frowns into smiles. Imagine you're feeling sad or hurt. 
When you fill yourself with love, it's like wrapping yourself in a warm, cozy blanket. It soothes your heart and makes you feel better. And when you share love with others, it's like giving them a big hug from the inside out. It can brighten their day and make them feel special. But love isn't just about making us feel good. It's also a healer. When you send love to someone who's sick or hurting, it can help them feel better faster. Love has this amazing power to heal our bodies and our minds. It's like a magical potion that can fix anything that's broken. You are the creator of your reality. Learn and grow. You see, just like a child learning to walk, we must be patient with ourselves as we navigate through life's challenges. It's all about practice, my darlings. Every day presents an opportunity for growth, for expansion. But here's the thing, it's not about seeing it as hard work. No, no, no. It's about embracing it as a journey of self-discovery, a chance to learn something new about ourselves and the world around us. All right, let's take a little journey together. Close your eyes and breathe deeply with me. Inhale deeply, filling your lungs with fresh air. Feel the possibility, the potential swirling inside you like a gentle breeze. It's there, just waiting to be unleashed. Now, as you exhale, release any doubts or fears that may be weighing you down. Let them go, my loves. They have no place here in your beautiful heart. You are stronger than you think, braver than you know. You see, my darlings, you are capable of so much more than you realize, but it all starts with believing in yourself. It starts with nurturing a positive mindset, one that sees the world as a place of opportunity and abundance. So, take another deep breath and feel the power coursing through your veins. You are a force to be reckoned with, my dear friends. There is nothing you cannot accomplish when you set your mind to it. But I know that sometimes believing in yourself can be easier said than done. Life throws us curveballs, and sometimes we stumble and fall. But that's okay, my loves. It's all part of the journey. I remember when I wrote my first book, You Can Heal Your Life. It was a leap of faith, a journey into the unknown. But I refused to let fear hold me back. Instead, I embraced the process, knowing that with each word written, I was one step closer to my dreams. Let's dive into the world of dreams and gratitude, my dear friends. Gratitude is like a superpower, you know. It's this amazing feeling of thankfulness that fills our hearts and makes everything seem brighter. Every morning, as soon as I wake up, I take a moment to give thanks for all the wonderful things in my life. It's like a little ritual that sets the tone for the day ahead. I start by appreciating the simple things, like the soft bed that kept me cozy all night long. Oh, what a blessing it is to have a warm, comfortable place to rest my head. And then there's the food. Oh, how grateful I am for the nourishing meals that sustain me throughout the day. From the crisp apples to the hearty soups, each bite is a reminder of the abundance that surrounds me. It's amazing how something as simple as a meal can fill my heart with joy and gratitude. But you know what's truly remarkable? The more grateful I am, the more blessings seem to come my way. It's like the universe responds to my gratitude with even more abundance. It's a beautiful cycle that just keeps on giving. So, my dear friends, I encourage you to cultivate an attitude of gratitude in your own lives. Take a moment each day to pause and appreciate the blessings that surround you. It could be the smile of a loved one, the beauty of nature, or even just the air that fills your lungs. Gratitude is amazing, but there's more to it. We need to learn how to calm our busy minds, to sit quietly and hear what our inner voice is telling us. This is where meditation comes in, my dear friends. It's like a special key that unlocks the door to our inner world. When we meditate, we give ourselves the gift of stillness. We allow the noise of the outside world to fade away, leaving behind a peaceful silence. In this quiet space, 
we can finally hear the whispers of our soul guiding us towards truth and clarity. Meditation isn't about doing anything fancy or complicated. It's simply about being present in the moment, letting go of worries and fears, and tuning into the rhythm of our breath. As we breathe in and out, we create a sense of calm and relaxation within ourselves. And you know what's truly magical about meditation? It's that it helps us tap into our inner wisdom. Deep down inside, we all have the answers we seek. We just need to quiet our minds long enough to hear them. Ah, the power of affirmation. It's truly incredible. Affirmations are like little love notes we send out to the universe, reminding ourselves of just how valuable and capable we truly are. They're like a gentle nudge from within, guiding us towards our dreams and aspirations. So, my dear friends, let's take a moment to harness this incredible power. Grab a pen and a piece of paper. Now, think about what you want to affirm in your life. Maybe it's self-love, success, or happiness. Whatever it is, write it down with intention and clarity. Once you have your affirmations written down, it's time to bring them to life. Say them aloud with conviction and belief. Let the words resonate within you, filling every corner of your being with positivity and possibility. Feel the energy coursing through you as you speak your truth. Affirmations have a way of shifting our mindset and opening us up to new possibilities. They remind us of our inherent worth and potential, encouraging us to step into our power and embrace all that life has to offer. Now let me share with you special secret two. It's all about something called the law of attraction. Have you heard of it? It's this incredible idea that says we have the power to manifest our deepest desires into reality. You see, our thoughts are like magic. They have the power to shape our lives in ways we can't even imagine. So instead of focusing on what we lack or what's going wrong in our lives, why not turn our attention to what we want to create? It's all about shifting our mindset from scarcity to abundance. Instead of dwelling on what we don't have, let's focus on what we want to attract into our lives. Whether it's love, success, or happiness, the possibilities are endless. But here's the secret sauce. Visualization. Close your eyes and imagine your dream life. What does it look like? How does it feel? Really immerse yourself in the experience as if it's already happening. Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. Hear the laughter of loved ones. Taste the sweetness of success. Let these sensations fill you up from the tips of your toes to the top of your head. And then, my dear friends, watch as the universe conspires to make it happen. You see, the universe is like a giant magnet, always working to bring us what we focus on. So if we focus on abundance and positivity, that's exactly what we'll attract into our lives. It's like magic but even better because it's real. So change takes time. It's a journey, not a sprint. So be patient with yourself and above all, be kind. You are worthy of all the love and abundance in the world. Now go forth and shine your light brightly for all to see.